what's happening out there, folks? It's your boy, Fat Tater, coming at you with a live review of the cheese tortellini and tomato sauce MRE. Right there. Right there. So we're going to open it up. It's been a while since I had a chance to uh, sit down and eat one of these. Man, I've been like literally eating standing, eating on the go, shit like that. You know, so it's been crazy around here, but fine. I get a break to max and relax a little bit. Had a little side project to do and knock that out just in time for OL Lunch A. That's the Spanish for lunch. Anyways, I brought my trusty pocket knife, y'all. No more of me struggling with these weapon bags. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Nothing in there. Okay, put this down here. Y'all can see what I'm looking at. All right, it's all wrapped up in a neat little package. Tear this open. We got cheese tortellini. We got some info facts on here. Calories and what what nots. We don't need that shit. I don't know how to read anyway. Let's see. I got all these things. Yeah, okay. My buddy wanted to know. One of them. Alright, this these gums here. I don't know if you guys know or can elaborate, but he was saying these are possible laxatives. Or, and then someone else. I forgot what the fuck the other one was. I don't know. But they want to know if they're laxative. If anyone knows if this is just gum, which I think that's all it is, just gum. Um, but if there's something special, you <laughs> let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> oh, God. What we got in here? Let's see. Of course, you got the gum. Put that off to the side. Get the wet, wet naps. Moist towelettes. Oh, Splenda. Now, I don't ever remember seeing a Splenda in any of them. That's interesting. Splenda. Nope, I'm not going to use that. All right. What do we got here? Some salt. We got napkins or an emergency toilet paper, which I almost needed the other day, but I made it just in time. Okay. Yesterday, actually. Instant coffee, not using. Creamer, not using. Right. Ah, what we got here? We got some uh, nut raisin mi mix there. Hell yeah. I like me some nuts, and I'm okay with raisins. Put the two together, I'm all right. Put that where we huh? Oh, shit. There we go. And we got vanilla pudding dessert powder. Now this... Is probably what that Splenda might be for. Directions for use. I'll read that later. I'll read that later. What we got? Crackers. Man, I hope there's peanut butter in here. I bet there is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> peanut butter crackers. Yes, 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 yes. We all know those two definitely go together. And we got... A Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder, which I will, 12 ounces of water. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my cup over here right now. And I'm gonna stir it with a spoon. And mix it up now. Ooh, it's orange. Fancy. Oh, it says orange right on it. Doi. Okay. Put that in there. Get the spoon it comes with. Stick that in there. Keep it clean around here. Try to anyway. What's coming out? Don't worry about my white shirt, folks. It's already got stains on it, so I'm all right anyway. 
I don't think I own a shirt without a stain on it, to be honest with you. Oil, motor oil, food, all types of shit, man. Now, I'm not a messy eater, but this shit happens. Okay. Hmm. Now we know that's good and sealed. What is this? Pepper sauce made with Tabasco peppers. Interesting. I don't remember. I have had some in the past where it had like a little bottle of it or something. But this is a little packet. It says ingredients are vinegar, red pepper, salt, xanthan gum. Packaged by Thermo Pack LLC, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Okay, that's going to be cool. And we got the heater thing in here. Right on. Oh, this is for the hot beverage. AKA coffee. So, I know I'm not using the creamer in a coffee. I'm going to go ahead and put those in the trash sack here. Shove it in there. Um, and I'm not... I better hold off on the spoon. If it says to use it in the pudding, I'll use it in the pudding, but other than that, no sprinkler. All right, so what all needs to be heated up? I'm pretty sure we want the, the cheese tortellini uh, heated up. Um, vanilla pudding, I don't think. Let me just go through real quick and make sure. And shake, okay, yeah, we're just shaking that. The nuts, so yeah, so this is the only thing we really need to heat up, so. We'll rip this bad boy open. Oh, man, I always have trouble with this, man. Okay, we got it better this time. And I got a little... Put the spoon in there. Put the spoon in me, huh? I got a little water. Prepare it again. Put the water in first. Yeah, I'm going to put it in first. Just up to the line. Do not... Overflow. You just need a little bit of water. I don't know if that's good enough. A little more. Can't be bad. But it says do not overflow or overfill. Excuse me. Oh shit! Almost dropped it. That would have been fucked up. Come on. She don't want to go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Does it go in there? Does this even go in there? I forgot. It's funny on here it says you know, on a picture, rock or something. <laughs> well, I got the something in front of me. All right, I'm going to stick that in there. And then we need to put something on top of it. Oh, well, got my knife here. All right, so I'm going to dig into the, uh, the crackers and peanut butter. When I, I don't get a plate. That's why I forgot. I knew I was forgetting something. That way I'll make a huge mess. All right, be right back. In the back with a plate. There we go. Oh, come on, man. Fucking what? Here's a knife again. Oh, we can even hear like a sis, like a, like a hiss. There we go, sis, <laughs> hiss. There's some crackers. Now, I wonder what they do out there. Because I don't see a line to really crack it. I wonder if they just put a little bit on top. That's what I'm going to do. Probably what I always do. I don't know. 
packaging is such hard. My hands, I got, I think I got early arthritis or something. A little peanut butter. Wipe that off my pants. Yeah, let's rip it all the way. Fuck it, all right? There we go. I've always been a fan of peanut butter, man. You know, it's cheap. It's a you know, it's quick little something in your gut. I try not to eat it too much anymore. I'm trying to be, I guess you would call it healthy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get some of that. We don't need all that peanut butter there. Spread the love around, folks. Oh shit. There we go. Mmm. Let's try this shit out. Fuck. I should have spread it out with a spoon, huh? It's like an animal, folks. Can't help myself. I just want to use basically what I got. You know, I mean, I know I don't have a can, I don't have canteens like they got, but back in that. Yeah, crackers dry, but I don't think you can really help that. I mean, I understand most crackers you know, dry, but they're like a, almost like um, bland. Okay, I'm looking for the word bland. It's bland. There's not much salt to it. I'm a uh, fan of saltine crackers. I like them. That powder drink pretty good. Mm -hmm. This thing getting hot. Uh oh, is that put upside down? God damn it. Oh, that side pretty hot. All right, now we're going to get it going. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Don't you hate that? Mm-hmm. I really wouldn't be able to eat this without the peanut butter, though. I mean, well, I guess I could if I was starving, but. That's all you really had, you know. You, of course, you eat it, but. Mmm. I'm trying to think we could use a, a pepper sauce on, I guess, the, the tortellini or something. I want to take a little taste of it first, and then I'll put it on the... I don't imagine it being too spicy, but I'm just curious on what the... <clears throat> if it's, like, super good. Like, should I be fucking out in the store looking for that? Is it that good, or is it, like, hmm...
powder stuff, man. That powder pudding, that's interesting. I never had one with powder pudding on it. All right, these are the, the nut raisin mix. <laughs> One, two, three. These raisins are hard as shit. One, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven raisins. You got a couple of almonds in here. And like whatever these are. I forget what these are called. I like them though. And of course peanuts. Oh shit, is that pecan? Pecan. A little pecan in there. That's cool. Give you a little variety. Now it says mixed nuts. Now the peanuts are not really a nut, they say. They say it's a legume. And it grows underground. They're not nearly as good for you as a regular nut. I like them. Let me try one of these raisins. Oh. That is a hard raisin, but I'd rather they be hard than soft, though. I think it'll take a little bit for that tortellini thing to get warm. I had it upside down at first. I mean, it's sizzling. One side's hot, for sure. But I'm not feeling that. Yeah, time will tell. I can eat most things room temperature anyway. Don't bother me, now. Hit my leg on the table. <clears throat> I built this table myself. The one to get that. What they call them the farm farmhouse tables or some shit. I don't know what they call it, but we we're. I was looking. They want a lot of money from things. I said, well, shoot, I can do that myself. It took a little bit, but I figured it out. You know, I don't know if y'all see that. Got the bolts, carriage bolts going through. Got four by fours for legs. And these planks here. I did, the, uh, they call it a driftwood stain. <coughs> and I put sealing on it. I think it cool art. Look alright to me. It works. <laughs> the only thing I wish I did differently was like filled in the cracks with like something. There's a lot, it's hard to get like crumbs out of there sometimes. But, whatever. Oh. When I get real hungry, I go through them cracks, you know, and pick them all out. <laughs> I just like, well, yeah, I do that. <laughs> Heavy ass pot right here. Oh, push that out of the way. I have more room. Golly. I think it's a uh, 
I don't know what, like 10 foot, 10 foot table. I'm of course at the end of it. And I sanded it all down nice and smooth. And there's a couple of rough spots in it still, but. Hmm. Anyways. Yeah, I prefer the, um, the mixed nuts over just peanuts. Get a little different flavor in there. The raisins are a nice, nice addition. Well, I think was, oh, it's gotta be warm enough. Wow, <clears throat> oh, pretty hot with that thing on there, that heater thing. up a little bit. Displace that heat a little bit in there. Oh, God. Man, there's, there's people can make this this little tear part here. It's a little bit longer. I mean, I ain't got the biggest hands in the world. But it's hard to grip right there. You know? I don't know you probably get used to it after a while. Look at that. See how much easier it is? Alright, I'm gonna dump it out in a plate here. Ooh. Now, I look at this, and I don't see me putting hot sauce on it, you know? I really don't. But, I'm gonna do it anyway. Because maybe, maybe it's the bee's knees. I don't know. Spread this out here. It's cheese tortellinis and tomato sauces. Sauce paste ain't too bad, whatever it is. All right, let me try this out. Oh, you know what I should do? Let me have one bite. I've had better. But you can't really go wrong with the tomato sauce, you know. All right, so. Mm. Oh, that's that's got a little. Woo! Hits you right in that tongue like that. Got a nice little burn to it. Not too bad, though. I'm not a big fan of, like, spicy anyways, but... I put, like, hot sauce in my stuff, you know? But I ain't all about them, like, Carolina Reaper, ghost pepper shit, you know? I like to have a little twang to it. 
That livens it up, though, you know? Mm. Not too shabby, man. Not too shabby with that, adding that, that hot pepper sauce to it. Definitely clean your sinuses out with that, you know? Helps you out. Yeah, man. I wouldn't add the pepper sauce to it all the time, but it's nice. It's not, it's not too bad. It's just a nice little change, you know? Mm. Yeah, because the tomato sauce has got like that, that sweetness to it. So, I mean, that having that little spice in there kind of mellows it out. I'm glad I did that, though. It's spicier than what I normally have. I usually use, um, I call it Cholula Lula. It's like Cholula, something like that. And you probably know what I'm talking about. And then there's, I've tried uh, Frank's Hot Wings sauce or something. Is it hot? Frank's Hot Sauce. And then I also have that uh, Buffalo, Frank's hot, hot Buffalo Sauce on there. I like putting that stuff on my omelets in the morning. You know, it's not too hot, and it's different, you know, I mix it up, like one day I'll do this, one day I'll do that, kind of mix it up, so it's not the same thing. Every day. Mm. It's been a long time since I had me some tortellini. Mm. Definitely gonna make me go and go to sleep later. <laughs> I'm not allowed to sleep though. God damn it. That's why it's best to keep it in the bag, I guess. God darn. Come on. Hey, got it. Pretty good. All right. You know, I feel like this one didn't have as much as the other ones, though. But we'll see how I feel. Like, every time I get done eating one of these, man, I'm, like, stuffed. Like, I'm just on the verge of, like, not wanting to do anything for the rest of the day. And being okay doing something the rest of the day. <laughs> Not like so bad where I'm like, I gotta, I gotta lay down. Yeah. Kind of lean back, get your gut some room. I don't really feel that bad, but close. All right, let me read these instructions right now. Allow water just chemically purified to stand 30 minutes before adding the dessert powder. Tear pouch at notch, add four ounces of water. This is about a six canteen cup. Oh. Two pouch, fold over top of pouch firmly. Hold the top of the pouch, shake for 60 seconds, finish stirring with spoon and consume promptly within one hour. Now, consume promptly within one hour. What happens after an hour? That's concerning. Like, does it turn into a fucking monster or something? <laughs> Eat your face off? Let me look at these ingredients. Maybe that'll help. Sugar, non-fat, dry milk. Maybe it's the milk. I don't know. 
food starch modified, partially hydrogenated soybean oil, maltodextrin, natural and artificial flavors, sodium, cassianate, and princesses, a milk derivative, tricalcium phosphate, shit, I can't pronounce some of this stuff, <laughs> salt, um, yellow five coloring, vitamin D, and yellow six. And it says contains silk and so or milk and soy. All right. Well, add four ounces of water. Eh? And you gotta shake the piss out of it. So I'm assuming you gotta. Eat it all within an hour because of the milk product or something. What did it say again? I already forgot. Four ounces. Yeah, that's what it was. Where's my ounce at? There's no ounces on here. Oh, yeah, there are. Six. So I got down to where it's two ounces left. We'll be all right. Don't mess this up. gonna call that good now I gotta shake it fold it tightly and shake it y'all count it's supposed to be 60 seconds of shaking I guess you shake it instead of stir because it's kind of hard to stir in a bag It feels kind of cold. That's weird. Maybe it's the water I put in. I don't know. Uh, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. The water coming out of it. Do I have a leak? Just my imagination. I think that's been about a minute. 60 seconds a minute, right? Last I checked. Alright. And that says... Pounds fold. Shake the hell out of it for 60 seconds. Finish stirring with spoon. Okay. So we gotta use a spoon. Ooh, it smells alright. Nice and thick in there. Thick like pudding's supposed to be, at least. It smells like pudding. All right, uh, that might be good enough. I don't know. Let's see. There it is. There. So it was literally powder, and add water, mix the shit, you know, shake the shit out of it, stir it up a bit. And that's what you got. Looks like pudding to me. That is some straight up vanilla pudding. Yeah, that's good, man. That is nice. It's a nice change, you know. Uh, I'll have to go back and look, but I don't think. I think every 
MRE had a different dessert in it. I just think it's neat because you never know what you're going to get. I mean, it tells you what the main thing is and the main dish or whatever is in each one, but I don't think it tells you what else is in there. Kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But I will tell you this, I have yet to get diarrhea from eating, eating any of this stuff. So that's good. I did have a little bit, I almost had an accident yesterday. So it was close. I think because I ate, um, it had like a little bit of two week old steel, still had trout in the fridge. And I was like, eh, I don't want to let that go to waste. That shit was delicious. So I heated it up. <laughs> and then I thought it was a fart. It wasn't. But I got cat like reflexes, man. I pin Ooh! Pinched real good. I made it to the bathroom. Didn't even have a stain anywhere. So, we're good. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't really mix it up too good. Almost like you almost feel like a grainy powder in it. But I don't give a shit. I was thinking maybe you're supposed to add the Splenda to it. So I maybe the Splenda's for the coffee? I don't know. Mm, there's a lot of powder right there. <laughs> it's okay. It all comes out the same way. I'll just have to jiggle my belly around, mix it up better in my gut. Mm. Yeah, you know what it is? It's in the corners. I didn't get the corners real good. Mm, mm, mm. That was awesome. D, oh man, my friggin' knife is friggin' hot. Holy moly. And this is hot still. <laughs> Woo! Now I definitely need that moist towelette this time because of that pudding. I don't like having sticky fingers. Let me clean that up a little bit. I get it in my. No, I think I'm good. I wipe it anyway. Just in case. Alright, get these fingers all unsticky. Okay. And then the gum. So we're going to throw that Splendo away now. We got the go. Again, if you guys can tell me. If they're if they just go. Which I think they're just go. Because my poop pattern has not changed at all. Cinnamon. Got cinnamon in it. A flavor or whatever. Alright. You know, I'm still full though. I don't think it was as much food. But I'm still full. I would imagine if I was like, I don't know. Middle East or something with them guys and, and gals. And I just ate that. I think I need me about five minute <laughs> break before I got up. Started moving around again. But 
But if I was in my in that situation, I think I would just eat some of it and not all of it. Eat some, throw the rest in the Alice pack or whatever they use nowadays. And then when you get done killing people or whatever they needed to do, it's like, oh, it's calm right now. Take out something else. Eat that. Yeah, maybe them peanuts. Or mixed nuts, excuse me. Yeah, man. Oh, man, that's... Cheese tortellini. Well, I want to say... It's definitely not the worst, but you know, I think... Man, it's a toughie. This is a toughie. Um... I would say one nip flip, but that pudding and the mixed nuts, man, really flipped. They raised it. Raised another half nip. Okay? Just raised it. So I'm going to go with one and a half nip flips up. If it wasn't for the pudding, I think just one. But because of that pudding, that was awesome. And that's like... I, that would be like a morale boost for me, too, man. You know, you can't feel good being over there or wherever. And, you know, I can imagine shit, this chaos, man. Shit blowing up around you and stuff like that. And Vanilla pudding make everything a little bit better. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but anyways, so one and a half nip flips up for the, uh, the cheese tortellini. What's the rest of it? Cheese tortellini and tomato sauce. That hot sauce was a nice little touch, so gotta add that to it too. But um, well, listen. I hope y'all enjoyed. Get back with me on the gum. If y'all know if it's any secret shit in there. So. And uh, until next time, I'm gonna try to do another video pretty fast here. Um, this is gonna be a quick review of some. Um, crispy something other. I'm not going to ruin it. But we're going to try it out. It looks awesome. I want to say I've had them before, but I don't really remember if I did. So it'll be good. Maybe like tasting it will jog my memory. But anyway, anyway, that's for next time. That's for next time. Alright. So I hope you all enjoy. Got anything you want me to try out? Um, you know, I do draw a line on some things. You know, like there's only a few things I wouldn't try, all right. But you can suggest them, um, anything, and I'll, you know, if it's if I could do it, I'll do it. If not, sorry. But anyways, I um, hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, Fat Tater out.